so we are headed to Door County. We stopped to get Starbucks. I got a cinnamon, cinnamon vent, vente dolce sugar free. I think it's a venti. And Hannah got, I think you got what, a, cin a pumpkin spice latte? Yes, I Size medium, right? Yes, it's right that's, there. That's, where are we going? Door County! How long are we going for? Three days. And you're driving, right? Uber. Are you gonna pedal the metal like Paul Walker? I'll be your Vin yeah. Diesel. <laughs> All right, perfect. Let's get the fuck out of here. What are your expectations for the trip? My expectations? Yeah. Um, I expect to get a lot of shopping done. Ooh. I don't know. I really, really want to do the brewery for sure. Yeah, that's tonight. We have oh. coffee, that cute little coffee place we did last time. It was awesome. Yeah, there's a cool one in Fish Creek, too, we have to check out. Okay. <laughs> Remember in Fish Creek how we, like, like we like, there's chocolates like everywhere. I like the chocolates. I don't know. Fish Creek was the same place where we found out about Cape Point. Yeah, everybody My expectations, I'm hoping we have a good time. I'd like to pickle my liver. That'd be nice. And then I'm hoping that there's good people at this fest. We're going to the Sister Bay Fest. It's their fall fest, it's like the grandfather of festivals. People go, they gather on the streets and they just fucking drink and parade. It's about three and a half hours from us and we're on the fucking road, as you can tell. Cruising. For a bruising. We also have to see the colors of the trees and do that cabin thing. You sign the siding of it or something? Yeah, there's a cabin there that people have been signing for the last 30 years. So we're gonna check that out too. Yeah, those are the expectations. Hopefully they live up. Where, what is it? Hopefully our expectations are surpassed. Kicked on my coast, was a ghost. Told that bitch no dish or rape stars on my roof. Look like space, diamonds on my roly feet. Shine like the roof on my roof. This is the card I got Hannah for her 25th birthday. He's a hot guy. And then inside I wrote a bunch of stuff Nonsense. yeah just just dumb shit I gotta keep him happy am I right just kidding so I, <laughs> I figured we could bring up a topic that maybe some of you might find use with is that how you say it useful find useful or, or uh, be able to apply in your life I want Hannah's opinion on men approaching women this is a tough one so what's your opinion? What do you think is the right approach when boys want to talk to girls, maybe in a bar setting or at the gym? Um, I don't know. I feel like... I should have thought about this before you... No, you have to just answer. God damn it! <laughs> I feel like everyone says like to be yourself and stuff and you should always like be true to you and be like authentic. You should always do it when it feels right though. You shouldn't do it... Like if you're actually interested in someone, you should like really just like listen to how you learn attention to how you feel because if it's like a pressure thing or you're really nervous and shit you're not going to be I guess like your true self. You guys got to bear with me on the sun. I'm trying to yeah, get Yeah I know I feel like you're <laughs> Yeah so you have... is not a good I... angle right now man I think she adds a good point. I've tried to say this in my videos before but you can't, if you want to approach somebody and you want to talk to them, you can't just walk up to them if you're not feeling confident enough, yeah. if you're not being true to what you want. Like, if you want to just talk to them, see if they're vibing with you, then you have to feel it. If you don't feel it, you're going to walk up and stumble over your words and go fucking, you'll yeah. fuck it up. You have but to if you, go with, like, the flow. Yeah, you can't walk up that whole, like, oh, let me buy you a drink shit. It just doesn't work. It's, it, you, you put, you, you're putting, like, a bubble over what you're trying to do. I mean, that's pretty much screaming, let me take you home and wrestle with you. Yeah, what? to be honest, or like even like if there's something that's like striking, like you like their outfit, be like, hey, like I think you look awesome tonight. Like where do you go shopping? Just try to be normal. Don't try to be so like flirty and like sexy. At exactly. The See, I would say something like, hey, I like your outfit. What's your name? And then it automatically just they don't think that you're there to just get in their goods. They think that you want to talk, and you have a window too. So if you use the window correctly, you most likely will be okay, at least for conversation. I can't guarantee that they'll like you the whole time, but yeah. obviously that's up to you. The moral of the story is be true to yourself and don't just go up with the same hoopla all the time. Try to just put yourself out there and meet these girls or boys, depending on your flavor. Meet them with the intentions of meeting them, not just trying to get to the, the goal of the night, I guess. But maybe that's what you're at the bar for. Maybe you just want to get laid, you know? Nope. But, <laughs> but just be normal, talk about normal like, conversation. 
Right, normal conversation. Keep that in mind, and you know what helps too is if you go to the gym and you get a bod like this guy. His yeah. name's Jorge. He have a different face though. Yeah, He's, he looks like he does Botox. Don't but, look like that guy. Yeah, don't. <laughs> that'll never help you at all. <laughs> no, no, he, no, he's not that bad. I love him. Okay. Yeah. I used to worship at your altar. Underneath the we made it. We're here in Sister Bay. How do you feel? Fantastic. Yeah. What ready? makes you ready for what? To stop driving and exercise and then eat. Yeah, we're going to stop at Door County Fitness Club over here. It's $20 for both of us to get in, so we're gonna check out the gym and then go get some fucking food. Yeah, where do we wanna go? We Figure don't know yet. That one place? We'll keep you posted. Yeah. All right, so we left the gym. We met a very nice lady named Trish, and she has a very cute dog. But that's not and cute leggings. the point. And cute what? Leggings. And she had cute leggings. And they cute, were snake skin. It was skin. a cute bar. Yeah, it was. Or bar. What the? <laughs> I was looking at the bar. Uh, cute gym. It was, it was a cute gym. It was a cute gym. So now. It was cute. I don't know. What. She said we were really fit. Yeah. And then if we were to hop in the car and light a fucking her. cigarette, <laughs> she'd be like, God damn it, I take that back. Yeah, she's gonna let us park at her place. Yeah, it'll be real nice. But this is Sister Bay. You can't really see it. So many fucking cars. But this is the strip for Fall Fest. Woo! 2018. Woo! This is our room. <laughs> we are beat and beat it. Anything to say? Look at the it's camera. Cozy. Wendy's great. Yeah, Wendy is our host and she's doing a great job. Very nice, very artistic. You'll see some of the stuff she's made in the video. And I'm tired, I need a Red Bull and a stiff cocktail, maybe some pretzel bites. Can you guys see my vest? <laughs> it's hot tomorrow. Me. Uh, walk up with my toolie, what they do? Uh, meet me in the alley with the troops. Uh, I got so we're headed to the gym again. We're outside of our b, &B. As you can see it, that's Hannah. Can you say something? Hey. Hi everyone. What are you going to do at the gym? Upper body. Yeah. What did you do yesterday? My legs and my ass is sore. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, like bending over like a pregnant person. Oh. Yeah, are, you in, are you enjoying the trip so far? Yeah. I like Wendy. Yeah. That's our host um, for the B&B. The brewery was really cool. I'm happy that we took it easy though so we can get proper I don't know. today. No hangovers. I'm enjoying it too. I'm really. We're gonna go oh, to the I fest today. Show them my shirt too. Yeah, pull it out. We'll. Uh, we're gonna go to the fest today. We found out because it's called the Sister Bay Fall Fest, but all the locals call it the Fall Down Fest because everybody gets so fucking drunk. <laughs> so I'll fit right in. That's exciting. What'd you want to show them? My shirt from the gym yesterday. You gotta fix it. Yeah, this lady was totally hooked it up. We're going back to her club right now to go work out. So that's she was the gold. shirt. She yeah. Was gold. Yeah, she was a cool lady. We've had a good experience, so now it's time to light up a fucking cigarette and go work out. We'll see you in a little bit. We made it to Sister Bay <laughs> for the Fall Fest, and it's fucking crazy. We just worked out with the wonderful Trish. Anything you have to we say? I love her. Trish is awesome. We're going to see what this is all about, and hopefully catch a buzz. Yeah, I'm going to show you the view. Oh, show them my purse. I don't know if they can see me with that glare. What are you expecting this to be like? I'm expecting a solid buzz throughout and getting a nice scarf because my neck is freezing. Yeah, yeah, it's and very cold. And a pie and a cup for sure. Yeah, all right. Well, that's the first stop is food and then pumpkin pie and a cup.
so we're eating at this place, <laughs> and and uh, we've been eating somewhat healthy because it's so easy to eat bad here. But then after a few days of eating bad, you feel like a sack of shit. So I'm gonna grab the camera. Hannah got a salad. Obviously, as you saw. Why do you think it's important to eat healthy? Well, the reason I decided to have the salad today was um, because we're going to be doing like a lot of drinking and like walking and shopping. And yeah, right. All that shit. So if I had like some like some mac and cheese or anything, I would just feel like a bag of dicks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like want to do anything, and then I would just feel like icky and just like yeah. sluggish and. Yeah, I no, want to be my best self today. I agree. The part I'm not looking forward to, like if we were to eat bad, can you see me? <laughs> if we were to eat bad for four days in a row, like you, you just feel like total shit on the ride home, you know. And mix that in with like six packs of cigarettes. In the and the blues. A, yeah, and the depression and a bunch of white claws from the the weekend before. It's not a good look. <laughs> Who? What was it called? I don't know. Clog or something. Clog? It was like some icky name. Oh, how many drinks have you? How many drinks have you had so far? This is my first one. What about your claw? See, my second one. <laughs> no, I know it's my second one. How are you yeah. feeling? I think it's time to get drunk. All right, so we're in Sister Bay. Okay. And uh, we're a little drunk. What's up, man? What's up, bro? You want to say hi to the vlog or what? What vlog? We're doing a vlog What's right up, now. What's up, man? I'm having a blast. I'm Yo, where are we from? Where are you where from? from? Yeah, tell where us. do you live? We're near New Glarus, Wisconsin. Hell yeah. Okay. We come up okay. here twice a year. We love okay. it up here. We have so much fun. Lots of shopping. We camp. We love the people up here. We man. drink a lot. Yeah. We eat a lot. We eat a lot. I eat. Look at this. Ooh, I eat a lot. Look at this. See I that? see you. I like, see you. Top of your head. What's the like the best part you've enjoyed so far? Like, what is it? You know, I would have to say the state parks. I know it sounds silly. It's, yeah. It is. It's That's my parks. shit. I like it's that. The weather. It's coming up this time of year. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not so much the people, you know, but um, we love to shop and have fun. <laughs> That's all. Just get away yeah. from work. That's oh, all yeah. it is. Great. Cool, man. Yeah, yeah this is our first time. Thank you too. Yeah, thank you. For thank you. What a great guy. Alcoholic. <laughs> When a guy hits on you, what do you do? Um, I talk to him. You talk to him like, and then what? Yeah, I talk it out. Like I don't take it seriously really ever. Yeah. But it's nice. It's yeah, nice. it's just fun. I don't, but I how don't do like, you, look like, too much into it. How do you not make them feel bad? If they like have the courage to talk to you. You throw out a smile and you talk to them. Yeah, and then, like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean even like if they're dumbasses and like they don't have a chance, you just... Still talk to you just talk to them and like yeah. kind of get to know them and kind of like get their vibes and stuff and yeah, yeah. Know, like there's like no way like it's still fun you're in a bar and somebody hits on you and they're younger or like they're just why like, are they younger i don't know they might not be because you're in a bar and it's not older people most of the time <laughs> what do you do i talk to them yeah I, it's i don't want to be rude yeah. yeah but like if you like them but they're too young what do you do if I like them, I don't care how old they are. Yeah. All right. So, like, so what's it matter to you at all? Like, if someone was like, like, fifteen years younger, would that be cool with you? Depends on the person. It depends on the person. What depends if, on the like, person. What if you like you? You guys are vibing so much, and like he's great, and like he's fifteen years younger, but he's so awesome and hot, and it wouldn't bother me a bit. It wouldn't bother. Yeah. Me do me looks play a part? No. Like, if does he have to be handsome? Classically handsome, but if there's a ton of like confidence or some charm, confidence? it makes confidence. Makes handsome, yeah. So confidence does it? Oh yeah. Does confidence do it for you? Yeah, but there's a difference. There is a difference between um, confidence and cockiness. Okay, so it's day three in Door County, and we're trying to find somewhere to fucking eat. I'm extremely hungover. 
I hope you guys enjoyed that conversation with that random we met. We met so many random cool people yesterday. And, you know, some really, really cool things happened yesterday. And some really good things could have happened, but they didn't. And now we're here. I'm like scared. It's raining right now. And the fucking fest is dead. <laughs> dead to the world. I wonder if it's raining by you guys. I think everyone's just so fucking cool. Yeah, God decided to make it everyone's feelings today. <laughs> Sad, depressed, sweating tequila. You know, the funny thing about me is, even when it's not raining, it's raining in my head. So, there's that. There's that guy with his fucking windows. They're still down. Maybe he doesn't have windows. He doesn't have Can't afford windows. Okay. This is going to be a boring video. Here, I'll show you guys how dead it is now. Look at this shit. Nobody. How are we supposed to get laid? God damn it! Four, three, two, one! <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, get the ones by my boots! Get them, Hannah! Right there! Get them all! No! <laughs> Somebody touched me. Get him, Hannah. Grab those umbrellas. <laughs> Whose umbrellas are those? <laughs> Mark, I got one of Mercedes. I got three laps for all four. Man, that's like a, like a pinata, but for adults. Did you get a lot? I, they're all in my pockets, but I was like, we should have brought a bag. I don't know, I, I really, told you, wasn't that the perfect spot? I got like a couple pieces, but I, I got like over here. Give me anything? Pick up at Info Booth. Is that a prize? Well, we're pulling out of our BNB driveway right now as I film. Oh, I gotta stop and flip her sign. She asked me. Okay, how do you feel? I don't feel as sad as last time we it's left. It's over there, but. Oh, right there, I'll flip. I don't feel as sad as um, I did last time we went. Oh, here's him. Doing the deed for Wendy. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't feel as bad as last time when we left. Because last time I got like the bad blues. Like last time I feel yeah, like we were pretty too. sad, right? Yeah, it was bad. Um, it was very bad. But I feel like we did a lot more this time. We like met a lot of people. There was like Trish and Wendy. Yes. And all the yes. nice ladies at all the, the bar. All the nice ladies at the bar we were at Saturday. We were drunken zombies. You know, at least I was. Yeah. All the nice all the nice last time was awesome because it was like summer and we had like the place to ourselves, but And we cliff dove. Yeah, we went swimming and stuff. That was great. But it was like a whole different experience going in the fall. Yeah. This time, I think I think for the next trip, we should do it where we go during the events. Yeah. It's a way better situation because yeah. anytime you travel, if you guys are going somewhere like you know a wilderness esque, try to go during when they have town events because there's just more people and more, more shit energy. to do because there's only so much like right now with the cold, there's only so much eating out and stuff you can look at before you're like okay this is the same shit you know like in the summer it's different because you can explore. But it gets a little chilly out here to be exploring like that, so... Yeah. Yeah. Even we're gonna, though we're on our way to go see this really cool house. Yeah, we're going to show you this fucking house that people have been signing for the last 50 years. We'll see how long we're there. It's fucking cool. cold. Yeah. It'll be so cool. Well, we made it back. We're back in Illinois and it's bittersweet. We've been on this cheese diet the last four days, so figure why not go out with the Sheboygan. Cheese ranch and bread. Do you have any last words to say to end the trip, even though the sun's saying it all for you right now? <laughs> um, I don't know, I guess it is bittersweet. I'm sad that we're in Illinois and I have a 10 page paper to write. Yeah, her fucking whole computer crashed and she had to restore it and like essentially wipe it. So she lost her college paper, that's great. Which is great. So I have that to look forward to after Chili's. Yeah. I don't know, I'm not really looking forward to any aspect of coming back. Yeah, reality. It's not as sad as last time. It's not like a really easy feeling. It's well, yeah.
had our time to explore. We got to experience what we missed out on last time. We had a good old time. What about you? How are you feeling? It's the same way. I don't want reality to be here, but reality's a bitch. And it's full circle, so... It is what it is, but this will be the last thing we film. So say your goodbyes. Bye, vlog. It was fun. Yeah, it's been a blast, guys. Not sure the direction this video is going to take, but hopefully it makes sense in the editing process. <laughs> Hope you all have a wonderful day. And remember, you only have your, you only have yourself. So as long as you make yourself happy, that's all it that counts, yeah. right? Preach. Okay. See you. <laughs> Man, what a crock of shit I just gave. <laughs>